Hello, hello! Look who is back! <laughs> Anyways, it's been a year, it's been a long time. Um, welcome to Edo Language Institute if you're joining me for the first time. My name is Tefi Waifo, I am the founder of Edo Language Institute and I run this channel. For my subscribers, thank you so much. You cannot imagine how much I appreciate you. Thank you so much for for supporting me throughout this time. You know, I was away for one whole year and, 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 and the last time I uploaded a lecture, we were 400 people strong and today we are 1,080. So you guys are just amazing. You, 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 my mind was just blown away. So thank you so, so much for everyone that sent me an email, you know, for everyone that left a comment. Some of you were really concerned. I remember someone sending me uh, an email he found um, an Edo language dictionary and thought that it might be useful for my work you know can you can you imagine how thoughtful that was that meant a lot to me so thank you so so much maybe in another video we can sit down and you know have a Q&A and I can answer all your questions but um, let me talk about today's video, you know, so there's so much to talk about, but today's video is going to be about the nine foundational sounds of Edo language. I call it foundational sounds because they can make or break your success of learning the Edo, the, the Edo language. So, um, so what is so special about these sounds? So many of you that watch my lectures, you speak English, you understand English, otherwise you won't be able to understand what I'm saying. Right, so um, so most of the sounds, you know, the alphabets and the sounds in Edo language, they do overlap with the ones in English, you know. But then these nine sounds are quite specific. You can find you can find some of them in other African languages, um, but they're not in the English language. And if English is the only language you speak, you might have some difficulty. Um, hearing picking up this sound and even being able to pronounce it being able to reproduce it so that's why i want to focus on it in this lecture so um, um because i really want you to be able to um to to have these in your in your men mental faculty like to to master these because they will help you on the long run and uh, without further ado let's jump right into the lecture so stay tuned <laughs> So, the nine foundational sounds of Edo language. Basically, these are the nine crucial sounds you should master in order to take your Edo language skills to the next level. So, that's why I call them foundational sounds. Um, especially if you're a, a, an English speaker. So, it's really important for you to get these sounds because you don't have them in the English language. But we, before we move on, I have an announcement to make. And uh, that will be in the next slide. And the announcement is I published a book. Yes, I published a children's book titled Emi Yami Edo, All the Things I Know in Edo Language. Because uh, for a long time I've been thinking of ways to make Edo, learning Edo language more fun and more memorable for kids just more suitable all in all and this is one of the results I came up with it's a three back three part book so this book is part of a series that's why you have volume one there volume two and volume three are in production so I like not in production but I'm, I'm working on them and they will have uh, their own main characters as well the main character here is Efosa and he's teaching you everything he knows about the parts of the human body and i'm really very proud of this work and i, I, I and i know that uh you're going to be very pleased um with the work with with the content as well so here are the links you can get it as a paperback or as an ebook and it's available worldwide on amazon so no matter where you are you can get this book as long as amazon delivers to your country of residence so um, and I'm also looking forward to hearing from you let me know let me know how you found the book let me know um, if you have any uh, any any remarks for improvement or anything that particularly touched you let me know I'm really looking forward to that so now going to the lecture 
um, yeah, let's continue with the with the lecture of today. So these are the nine sounds that we are looking at today. Um, if you've been following this channel for a while now, for a long time, you know that I have done a lecture on these sounds. Well, by then it was eight. Uh, I, I forgot to include this last one, the m sound. Uh, that was last year in 2018, July 2018. But I decided to revisit it this time again because I noticed that a lot of people, including my siblings, they have issues with pronouncing these sounds and they are very frequent sounds in Edo language so you really need this as your foundation in order to to master Edo language so and also the, the, the second reason is also um, this time that I'm not showing my face or showing my lips uh, pronouncing these sounds because I did that lecture and the focus this time is for you to listen, for you to be able to pick these sounds up, you know, and differentiate between them. So not just see me, my lips moving, but then really training your ears to pick up these sounds. So that's the focus also this time. And also to know at the exact places where these sounds are made in your mouth. And you will see more of that in the next slide. First of all, I want us to briefly look at the human vocal tract. So where the sounds, um, where the sounds, the different sounds are made. So the part of the mouth that enables us to make the different sounds. So let's begin with the tongue down here. We have the tongue, and we, you have the tongue, the tip of the tongue, and the blade, the tongue blade. Um, and then we have the teeth. So there are some sounds that are made uh, by the two teeth coming together like the like your teeth coming together or or sometimes you're putting your tongue between your teeth in English language for instance you have the th, like in thin um, and you have uh, the lips here there are also some sounds where the two lips come together sometimes it's a combination of the teeth and the lip and the lips or the, or the lower lip and then um, on, to, on top of that, after the lips, you have the alveolar ridge. The alveolar ridge is that point where you pronounce the sound t, t. So when your tongue goes against that point, you know, on your gum, that harder place um, above your, yes, yeah, above your gum a little bit. So you, it's that place that's got the alveolar ridge. And then um, followed by the palate, that is followed by the palate or the roof of your mouth. It's also called the hard palate. So I wrote these other words there, these three in, in, in the rectangle, the red rectangle, um, just to show the other words that these um, terms are called or these points are called. So the hard palate, that's the roof of your mouth. You have the nasal cavity. That's the place that allows you to uh, pronounce sounds or to make sounds like uh or mm. You know those those nasal sounds, and then we have the vellum or the soft palate. It's also it's part of the palate, but it's that part that is soft. You, sometimes when you take your finger into your mouth, you you can feel it. That soft part that is your vellum, and we have the oral cavity that's inside your mouth. You know, between your tongue and your the roof of your mouth, and then we have the voice box or the vocal cords, and the the previous table that I showed you, you saw this uh, voice, uh, the, the sounds divided in voice and voiceless. So basically voice sounds are the ones where when you make those sounds, your vocal cords vibrate and the voiceless sounds, your vocal cords do not vibrate. So that's all um, to this now. So let's move on. So now coming to the B sound. Well, sound is a, is a combination, it's made in combination of um, two manners or two movements in the, in the mouth. So, once one, you have the vela closure. You know, we talked about the vellum just now. So, the sounds that are made there on the, uh, at the vellum, they are called vela. Uh, it's a vela, in, in, vela sound. So, um, so, you have a vela closure, so you are, you are stopping air from flowing through. So you, the farthest part of your tongue in the back is touching your vellum or it's closing, you know, it's touching your vellum and closing 
uh, closing the, that space, stopping air from flowing through. And then at the same time, you have the bilabia closure. So also stopping air from flowing through by trying to pronounce the B, B sound. But this time your, your lips are flat. So you, you have this G and B. And at the same time, it's a voice sound. So your, your vocal cords are vibrating. So examples of word in Edo language that um, has this sound. Igbe is the Edo word for body. Igbon is the Edo word for knee. Ben is to write. So that's a verb. Agbon is life. And then but, but, but when you say agbon ya, then it's everybody or everyone. So you, you really need to uh, practice um, these um, this pronunciation and with time you really you get a hold of it so going to the next so this is the uh, sound uh, this sound is also in Yoruba language um, so it, again it's also a velar closure back back there so the place where you pronounce the k so k so the further the furthest part of your tongue touches the vellum and you know, a, a pressure is, um, is um, it forms a pressure and then releases it. The sound k is, is formed when that pressure is released. And then you also have your, the bilabial clo closure trying to pronounce the p sound. And that together pronounce this b, b, b. But when, you, when your lips have to be flat, you know, don't, not kind of pull together like the way when you're pronouncing P. In this, in this case, it has to be flat. It's like you're sucking your lips together and then, you know, you're creating that pressure and releasing it. So, so we have UBO for year, UBO, close, EGME, a leopard, OKBA, one. So you can say UBO, one year, UBO, one cloth <laughs> or a shirt or something and one leopard or a leopard so now next sound we have the r, r. so here um it's also a velar sound but this time it's a velar fricative so fricatives uh in in linguistics are sounds that are made when two parts of your mouth come together um, or they, they, they touch each other, but but air is forced through that point of contact, and in that process the sound is is made. So here you have the r sound, and it's also a voice sound because your your vocal cords vibrate here. So we have ro ro, which is happy, and that comes from o ro ro, which is happiness. I ro, which is money, and then re is to look. Coming from the Edo word ure, which is the look or the view. Now, next, we have again, this is also a vela fricative. We have, so this is the voiceless, um, um, the voiceless counterpart. So you have, here again, you are forcing air through that point of contact and the side of your tongue. The side of your tongue, the both sides, are pressing against your molars. Your molars are your larger teeth behind. So you have, you know, if you speak German, you have this sound in Bach or Machen. You know, if you speak Spanish, you have it in Jose or Jesus. So, uh, Edo words here, example, you have Ujon is the Edo word for navel. Ejue is the Edo word for shame. Ahwe is the Edo word for tomorrow. Now, next sound. So here we have um, a, a labial dental closure um, because your tongue. So, so, so the labial is the lip, and then dental the teeth. Tongue and um, what am I saying? Not tongue. Lip and teeth coming together to um, make this sound, and this is a voice sound. So. Well, here we have a, a, an, um, um, the, the, the inner part of your lip is the one that is the part that touches your teeth in this case. So we have the, the, it slightly just touches it, you know, the front part of your teeth. 
of your what do you call this front teeth your in incisors or something like that oh god i haven't had biology in a long time i think they are called incisors <laughs> um yeah so the front part of your teeth there so you have the v v um and then edo words that have these sounds you have ewu ewu is the edo word for fog i think in british english it's also called dew so that's why i put it there and then you have ove is to uh, is the the noun sleep to sleep the verb is vie vie again it's also that same sound v. then you have evo or evo naze is language evo naze is language um for most of the time edo people just say evo devo noni he or devo noze which language is he or is she speaking now the next we have ma so here is the t i don't have i don't have the um i didn't find a the picture where the teeth is touching the outer part of the lip but so that's why I use this circle to depict that so your teeth is not on the inside part but rather it's in the outside part of your lip so it's m, m. and here we have um, and also excuse my picture quality I took this from my book my linguistics book that I bought in the first semester, one of my first books that I bought during my bachelor's, but I, I cite it in the image source and uh, later you you will see that. Um, so we have alma is a word for person or human being. For human being, most of the time we say omanagbon. Omanagbon. So or agbon, you learned earlier, it means life. So it's a, a person of life. So human being. Um, we have m, m, which is word, but it can also mean matter. So when someone says mena, it's like address this matter, speak on this matter. Um, then we have emi, emi, is thing or something. Emina, this thing. Emini, that thing. Emiopa one thing or something then emija is everything or all the things now moving on so here we have another fricative sound paleta fricative sound Z. so your tongue the blade of your tongue the middle of your tongue is moving or pushing against your hard palate and in the process, you're pushing air through that uh, that point of contact to pr produce this sound. And also, the side of your tongue is pushing against your molars, so your inner, your larger teeth. So you have z, z. So ij is an is the Edo word for mother. Ij me, my mother. Then we have ojija. Is the other word for comb, and here we have a verb yo to wear. Je wu is to wear shirt, so e wu is the word for shirt, and it contracts because e is a vowel, and this is also a voice sound, as you can see here with the vocal cord marked yellow. So now the next sound here we have. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a combination also of two um of two movements. So one we have a, a paleta closure. So air is not flowing through there. So you really have your tongue, the middle of your tongue blade against your hard palate, and at the same time you have your teeth closed. Yeah, yeah. And then at the same time your tongue is against your hard palate. That's how you make the sound. So we have Enya is neck. Inya yam. Onyeme joy. Enye is the other word for snake. Enya inya onyeme. Enye. So now the final sounds for today. Mwa. Mwa. So this one is basically 
the regular w sound the, the regular w will sound like you have in a do the do word for leg or where the will sound plus a velar closure so your your you the furthest part of your tongue the rear end of your tongue is touching your vellum to pronounce this mwah. so and um you have here a word a mwah, a do word a mwah, that's the other word for breast you have imwina is the other word for work or your profession um so the verb uh, that goes along with that is mwina or mwina is is he working or is she working so imwina then emwai is wisdom and this is also a very um popular name first name is uh is um unisex first name so a boy or a girl can answer can bear this name emwai wisdom omwe is um sunset so uh, it refers to the sun but when it starts turning orange you know so around well in nigeria it's around 4 p.m 5 p.m so that's why you can t refer to the sun as omwe so here are the sources where i got the images from uh the first image of the human vocal tract i got from wikipedia and this is the book, the second one here, the book I was telling you about that I bought during my bachelor's studies. So I want to thank you for watching this lecture to the very end. I truly appreciate that. Don't forget to grab your copy of my new book. Like I said before, it's available on Amazon worldwide. The links are in the description box. You can get the paperback or the Kindle version. If you want to support this channel, you also find a link to my Amazon registry there in the description box. While at that, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share. And also, if you are not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and activate the notification bell so that you are always notified whenever I upload new content. So uh, till next time, take care and bye-bye.